Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I want to talk about, you know, you, we want more. Now, it's always kind of funny, Jordan says, because I want to talk about, you know, being, you know, being fired from multiple jobs. Now, a lot of people might say, that's not a big deal, because that happens. Now I'm on Social Security Disability Insurance and and I can only work a certain number of hours before you start taking away from your benefits. So while I am up telling all the places I worked at, I usually tell them something like this. Look. Okay. Look, I'm on Social Security Disability Insurance, so I can or maybe only two hours each week. And if you can't handle that, that's too bad. If you want to make me go over my hours, I will quit on you, because I don't need to lose my benefits. It ain't worth it. Now, now some places will some places will understand that but it's your responsibility to remember it yourself because some places will be nice and tell you and some places won't you know it's not a big deal to them if you lose your benefits you know it's not their benefits on the line it's your benefits it's your responsibility so usually Jordan said eventually what happens is and I've, I've actually done this Ask anybody at Google, ask anybody at Toy ask anyone at Toys R Us, ask anyone at my mother's Asian Chinese rest Empress Chinese Asian Chinese restaurant. I have actually done this. Ask anyone on my multiple acting gigs, I've actually done it. Hey look, Jordan, I need you to work overtime. I can't, Jordan said. I can only work two hours each week. And the hours have to stay the same or I'll lose my benefits. You want to mess with my hours? That's it. I quit. Yeah, that's what I did. Jordan says. I've actually told them that. If they want, if I actually told them that that my two hours are up, and if they go to mess with my hours and my earnings to mess up my benefits, I've actually quit. Jordan says. You know, and I know a lot of people out there might criticize you for such a move. You know, there's a lot of people out there that will say, oh, so you'll lose it, you'll lose it. No. There may be some people out there who that's not a big deal for them. But hey, I heard it's very, very hard to get them to put you back on the system once you got off the system. Other words, once you earn more money and once you work more hours than over that, they would start taking away benefits and once they t and once they start taking away benefits to the point where you don't get any more it is very very hard to convince them to put you back on the system you know very hard to do that at least that's what I heard um, so I've actually quit jobs because they were going to either mess with my hours they were going to mess with my earnings, and trust me, as a person who's on Social Security Disability Insurance, people usually send their pay stubs in either by mail, or they do it in person, or use the automatic system on the phone, or whatever it takes. And they actually, and what they're looking at is to make sure that the hours and the earnings are staying the same each week, or each day, you know. The number of hours are staying the same, and the number of earnings are staying the same. And I've actually known places that have actually tr and I've actually quit places that either thought I was joking, or actually didn't take me seriously. You know. And apparently, Jordan said some play some acting gigs I've had, because trust me, I've been I had a lot of motion picture and, com and commercial acting gigs. 
I've actually had people who actually people who by purposely tried to sabotage my benefits. You know, and I've actually quit those jobs. I kid you not. Um, so yeah, that's about it for me. I'm Jordan. I'll see you later. If you want to criticize me for that, go right ahead. That's fine. Bye.